What's up everyone? Wanted to hop on here and make a quick video about the new master uh, two-in-one Brad Nailer slash stapler. Uh, it shoots 18 gauge Brad Nails quarter inch crown staples. This is an air nailer, so as you can see here, it has the air fitting on the back. So it does require a uh, does require an air compressor. I've got a 1.3 cubic uh, foot per minute, 90 PSI, one gallon compressor is required. Now I just happen to have a six gallon pancake over there, which we're gonna be using. It's plenty of air for this particular, uh, for this particular application. But just if you are going to buy it, just know that this is an air one. This is not battery operated. Let's, uh, let's get this box open and we will, uh, we'll give it a whirl. We'll take a look at it. Now what I do like about it is that it does come in this little, uh, this nice little case here. Uh, this little, you know, injection molded case along with everything that you might need for it. And uh, I do, if you're to throw this in like a toolbox in a truck or something like that, this is going to be nice. Me as a homeowner, I'll probably put this in my toolbox with some other stuff. I'm not sure whether I'm going to keep it in this case or not. But inside here, they actually give you safety goggles. They give you the instructions. There's two Allen keys, I presume, to make adjustments. We'll get into that in a second. You get uh, what looks to be, this is machine oil, so that you can keep your gun lubricated. Over here is also, I know they do give you some nailers and, uh, and, and staples to get started. So there's actually, I'll show you how we'll get into these. These are actually how you feed it. And then you actually have the unit itself. Let me, uh, let me see if I can get the plastic off here. Give me one second. All right, so we are now out of the plastic. And as, you can, as I can see here, and as you can probably tell, this is an all metal construction tool. So this is something that's probably gonna work a really long time on the job site. Again, this is an unboxing. I'll probably do an update in a year or two after I use it. But uh, you've got all, again, all, my, all, uh, all metal body, all metal construction. You've got this very, very nice, comfortable rubberized grip that is not completely round and it does fit really well in your hand, whether it be left-handed or right-handed, which I like. Uh, this is actually built for ambidextrous use. So if you've got someone who's a lefty versus a righty, you're gonna be able to use this exactly the same way. Up top here, what I like about it, the part of that ambidextrous, ambidextrous design is you can actually adjust where the air exhaust comes out and that rotates 360 degrees so you can have the air come out again wherever you want depending upon what hand you're using it in uh, in the back here i've been uh as you see you have your air inlet hose they do actually recommend that you drop a few drops of machine oil down the inlet before you do use it to lubricate the tool i will make sure to do that but again i've got one hand holding my phone on the other in the back here this is your quick clip for your uh, for your magazine where you can load either your brad nails or your staples. I'm gonna show you an example of both going into this, these scrap pieces of wood that I've got here. We'll go through that, but it does have a working pressure range of between 60 and 120 PSI. Now, I have a 150 PSI compressor. What are we gonna do? So over on the compressor, as you'll see here, I can actually dial this left or right. Uh, right now you'll see here, we've got the tank pressure here is at 150. This is the regulated pressure. You wanna keep this between 60 and 120. And again, your compressor might be a little bit different, but that is what your plus and minus dial does on your compressor to keep this inside the working range. That way you're working safely. All right, so I got a little bit more organized here. I went and I went and grabbed a tripod. So now I've actually got two hands for this. Uh, like I said here, this is, uh, you can use these big long crown staples, or you can use these 18, uh, 18 gauge brad nails. Now to load the unit, we'll show this here with brad nails first. These uh, obviously are gonna go head side up. They're gonna slide right in. Make sure that they seat down here on the bottom. And then this, basically that's spring loaded and it will let you know there's a little uh, load indicator here, how many you have left. As you start to get lower and lower, this will actually turn red. And now you are just about ready to fire. I've already uh, already added some, some oil to this. Let me, uh, let me get this actually hooked up to the air. All right, that was easy. And now to, uh, to, to get this to fire, there's actually a spring-loaded uh, work contact kit tip, uh, tip here. So essentially what you're gonna do is when you're set here on your wood, basically when you push that down, that's gonna arm it, give it a little, uh, give it a little pull of the trigger. It's a hair trigger and it's, uh, you can start basically nailing and stapling away. It is that easy. Now, this does have a bump mode if you are a professional. You basically can cup on here, hold this, and it will uh, it'll keep going. I'm not going to use it because I am not a professional. But if you're experienced with the tool, I've heard that bump uh, bump nailing is the fastest way to go to the hospital if you are 
the average DIYer, but if you're a professional gonna use this, feel free to actually use that setting. All right, now we're actually gonna swap here from the nails to the staples. So what we're gonna do here is use our, our, our rack here. As you can see, the uh, as the load comes out, that shows that it's red. Basically, that just pops right out that way. We can grab a uh, grab a set of, grab a run of staples. Make sure we get that down, set into the rail. We get that done there, set into the rail correctly. It's going to come back in. I'm actually going to hook up the air now. What I'm also going to do is I'm going to bring the air all the way back down to 60 psi, so you can hopefully see some showing on these staples. All right, so the regulator is turned to 60. So again, same thing. I got my hand on the trigger, push down, give it a little bit, and now you can actually see where it drives that staple and keeps the two pieces of wood together. And again, you can just kind of come in here. That one didn't quite fire right, but. All right, so update here on the air nailer. I, uh, I, did, I turned my regulator down too low. So this is what happens if you don't give it enough air. I had it turned down all the way to 60. Hopefully I could show some of this going into the wood. And uh, I actually was ended up being at like 25 or 30 by the time I was done. So we got this happening. <coughs> so if that ever happens, again, just turn up your air regulator. And then you'll be back to shooting staples all the way into the wood in no time. So that's a quick, easy fix. But again, it's really, really, uh, it's a quality tool. It'll work. I recommend it for anybody who, uh, who needs an inexpensive quality air nailer or stapler. So again, I really do recommend.